Hey, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. Uh, just want to address a comment from, um, uh, is it Bonadan? Uh, excuse me if I've <laughs> mispronounced your username. Um, he made a comment in the last video about the fact that the new 3.0 version of the game engine, so that's the D&D 5th um, edition game engine, not the add-on and not Foundry itself, but that update should be able to track effects and things uh, for us without the use of those add-ons now and that's certainly something that they said it does so I just wanted to have a quick look at that um, just a short video um, I've just got open here I'm in my test world where I play with things to make sure I've got the basics before I try and show you guys and make all those other mistakes trust me I make loads in the background um, so I've got to open here the uh, modules add-ons I've got on here uh, dice ruler and stuff I do not have defreds on this one um, so I haven't got that on and I have not got times up running on this one um, So I can close that window, but what I would just want to show you I'm in in combat here at the moment uh, So I've got uh, Baldrick and uh, Haley are in combat with a goblin at the moment and they're on round 16 because I've been playing around with it So I just want to show you on Haley's turn. So here's Haley uh, and if I am making sure I'm targeting uh, Baldrick here if Haley casts Bless, let me just re uh, give her back her spells. Uh, if Haley casts Bless here, it's going to consume exactly as we wanted. Uh, boom, she's now cast that. It's going to put that Bless spell into the chat to say, yes, she's cast that. But when we look on Baldrick for effects, it doesn't automatically add it. Um, so we still have the problem of it doesn't apply the effects to characters. I've got it targeted. Uh, if we check on Haley, it's not not giving it to her either. So we're able to cast a spell. It's not automatically giving those effects. And in fairness, that wasn't what the comment was saying. Um, it was saying about tracking those effects. Uh, I did mention in that comment, and I think I made a mistake there, that you can, I want the SRD, is that you can, um, instead of using defreds, you can just come in, find the spell, and drag it into here as an effect. Um, this has automatically put this as an ineffective effect, uh, so I need to manually add that on if I drag it from the SRD. Now one thing I just want to check is it's also given him innate spell casting because I've dragged it on from the SRD. I don't want him to have innate spell casting. <laughs> he can do one. <laughs> That's not right at all. Um, and now I've deleted it from innate spell casting. It's also deleted it from there. So at the moment with the third, um, the third version or version three of the game engine, we still going to need defreds uh, logged in to be able to do that. So let's have a quick, um, let's add defreds back in. Um, so that we can add that to us. Uh, manage my modules, uh, stick defreds back in. And again, you guys will probably, um, there's some of you who've obviously got more experience in some of these areas than I have and have got ideas and you do reading of the patch notes and things like that. You know, by all means, shout if I'm doing something wrong because you know if I'm, if I'm doing it wrong or there's a better way of doing it, then I can learn from you guys and therefore um, pass that information on to people because you know this is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be, you know, you need to do a degree in uh, in Foundry to be able to play. So if I use defreds to apply that bless, that's going to apply properly. We've seen that in the previous video. Lovely jubbly. And he's got his timer on there. Now what the third version of the game engine, the D&D game engine does for us now that it did not to do before, is if I move on. So just have a look here. Bless last 60 seconds. It's just been applied to Baldrick. If I move on to the next round, can you see as I move round, it is counting down. So it wasn't doing that before. So that is definitely one of the updates, is it now will count down those, uh, effectively it's doing that times up um, where it's reducing that. Now, if I keep going until we get to, we're now on six seconds, uh, we're now on zero seconds, now we're now on minus six seconds, minus 12 seconds. So it's not removing this status. It's not removing this effect. Now we're on minus 12 seconds. It's now Baldrick's turn. Uh, let's say he's going to make his attack. Um, let's target that goblin. I know it's over there, don't worry. <laughs> Obviously I wouldn't allow that in the real world. Um, and let's make our halberd attack. So let's bring up our chat so that we can see it. He's gonna make his halberd attack on there, make his attack, normal roll, it's still adding that 1d4 on for the bless. 
So it is, even though it's gone past the timer, it's not automatically deactivating that effect. I need to manually come in and disable that effect. Now if I make that attack roll again, normal attack roll, it has disabled it. So the game engine version 3 is a step further along towards what we're doing but without defreds we are it's not easy to apply that bless effect uh, and without times up it won't remove that effect for us so yeah hopefully the game engine will move to a point where we don't need these add-ons that would be really really nice at the moment it's not there i have looked at the settings and there's nothing in the settings that i can see that actually affects that at all in any way shape or form um but of course there is a there is a you know there is a bug log um, and a features log uh, for the game engine that people are making comments on i can't see that anybody's reported that which does make me worry it's me <laughs> not the game engine um but that doesn't appear to be working the way that we want to at the moment um either because i'm a moron and are using it incorrectly or the fact that the game engine isn't doing that. So to answer that query, yes, in theory, the third edition of the game engine should do some of that for us, but it's only doing half the picture and it's not actually removing the admin. So just a short one. Um, I hope that helps for anybody else who's kind of looking at that and going, oh, hang on a minute. It says in the notes that it now does this. Um, it's not doing it for me. Cheers, guys.